My name is Austin Dayton Tower and Light, Dayton, Ohio, United States, and you're watching Bob's Decline on YouTube. What's up guys? That was Austin from Dayton, Ohio. Big shout out to you Austin for sending us that video. So we're starting something new here on the channel guys. If you would like to have a short clip featured in one of my videos of yourself or your crew, drop me a line on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Also, for all my fellow linemen out there, drop me a fist bump with a hashtag Bob's Decline down in the comments. Let me know that you're out there working safe. So today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at five bad habits that you might not have thought of that has to do with being a lineman. Don't be walking around wearing your hooks. Not only is it a good way to get hurt by stabbing yourself in the leg, but it's also a good way to dull the gaffs on your hooks. When you get to the pole that you're gonna be working on, you put them on, when you're done your work, you take them off. I did see one time a picture that somebody put on Facebook of a couple guys standing in line at a fast food restaurant wearing their hooks. Come on guys, it takes 10 seconds to take your hooks off, put your gaff guards on, and stow them away properly in your till. Hello. Hang on one sec. Try not to get in the habit of setting your tools on top of the bins in your truck. You're out in the back of the truck, prepping some wire, putting a cutout together. You start setting your tools on top of your bins like this. I can guarantee you one of these days you'll get an emergency call, drive off, forgetting your tools on the top. You leave something up there like some bolt cutters, a wrench, anything at all, that can fly off into traffic creating a huge hazard. I try not to even make a habit of setting stuff on the bumper anymore. Of course, the back of your truck is an excellent workplace to be prepping some material. As soon as you're done, make sure you put your tools away. Don't walk away into a new project while leaving stuff in the bumper. Same thing goes with your tills. Get in the habit of keeping the tills in your truck closed. That way, if you go off into another project, you're not gonna jump in the driver's seat, check in a work order, and simply pull away. Another bad habit we see all the time is when guys go to pull the truck head just a few feet and don't take their gloves off. The cab of this truck is pretty much like my office. As it is, it gets dirty pretty quick. The last thing I want to do is jump in my truck, put my hands in a big gob of pen trucks. So if you are asked to pull the truck ahead a few feet, take the time to take your gloves off, kick the mud off your boots, and try to respect the cleanliness of our office. So next up, we're gonna be talking about our rubber gloves. We all know how important it is to take good care of our PPE, especially our rubber goods. So take a look. Within my rubber glove bag, I always store my rubber gloves with the cuffs facing down, like so. Now, let's take the gloves out of the bag and you'll see why here in a second. Down at the bottom, nothing too much, a few wood chips and stuff. A lot of the bags aren't fully sealed. The debris can work its way in through there, especially wood chips flying around or cutting aluminum strands. The problem is with your cuffs facing up like that, if any debris falls in the bag at all, it's gonna go directly into your gloves. It could damage the inside rubber of your gloves. That all being said, your rubber gloves should be in one of two places, on your hands or stored in the bag. Another bad habit, guys, is not putting tools back where they belong. That, or taking the last item of something. Use some equipment off the truck, and you don't plan on going back to the office, leave a note on the dash. That way the next person that uses the truck doesn't arrive to a job site looking for some material, only to find there's none left.
Right on, guys. Thanks again for watching one of my videos. See you next time.